to the developer how to communicate, how to have a samples, I mean, how to describe the minimum required to perform a development, some FAQ, and so on. If you have, you have some tools to help the developer, so tools to be able to perform the communications, uh, tools to be able to send some command, okay? uh, tools to create a part of the program, and some samples is better now than instead of the SDK. If you say that to any kind of persons, that you will understand. If you say SDK is a software development kit to all people, try with your family, your sons, your, your wife or whatever, you will see a bubble fish. Okay? If you say this is a toolbox where you are able to farm, Okay, when I say how you produce, the SDK is promoted as a product, as a voice. So it's a downloadable package. It's a zip file. So it can be on the USB key, okay, where I have this kind of information. Okay? Clear? Yeah. That is the first and very important part of the training, of this introduction. If you understand that, you understand perhaps 50% of this introduction. Now, SDK, at every point of view, is promote like a product, is promote like a printer. Why? Because we are face of persons that are never deal with everybody. Okay? You work with us as we sell as partners, okay? But you are not developer. You sell some printers to a customer who would like to develop his own application. So he will apply a third company to develop. This company never heard about Everest, never been touched with Everest, but he need the information. So here, if this company go to Everest website, he's able to download directly the SDK. He no need to go back to you, oh, first to the original customer, then to you to have it. You can go directly and can download directly the package without money, it's free. Okay? Now, on the Everest website, we explain that currently we have two SDK available. One is not to replace the other one, it's two different management of SDK. I will explain. We have the SDK 2 dot, currently it's a 2 dot file, and we have the premium SDK. Okay. The difference is not the machines, because you can see that I have a merge. Okay. Means the SDK 2 dot file is full compatible with all printer. The premium SDK is compatible only with dual printer that are managed by Everly's premium suite. That's the reason that we call it premium SDK. Premium for premium. It's just the way of communication. Yes. And the communication is very important. And this is the second important information of the training. If you catch that, you will catch around 100% of the introduction. What is important is that I have the printer, okay, and I have a computer, and I need to create the applications, okay? This is what we have to do. Here, the applications, okay, need to make a file print. To make a file print, okay, we need to dialogue with the computer, of course, because we are inside the computer, and to dialogue with the printer. The SDK, 2.5, okay, the 
the applications okay should send directly the information to printer. the printer it's a direct communications of course they need a part of the driver somewhere but they need to send the information as PRN file remember we are talking about that it means they need to send escape command because when you are in Capresso or when you are in any kind of application, when you make a file print, you send the application to the driver and the driver translates the information or a part of the information as the instead. Here, you develop your own application. So when you make file print, you need to give to the system the needed information. So here, for example, you need to say, okay, I need to dialogue with this printer so I need to send instruction to the printer. The first instruction that I need, I need to insert a card. I need to print the yellow panel, then the magenta panel, then the, the cyan panel, then the black panel, then the overlay. Then I will eject. That is a sequence to print. Each sequence is command. So here, from the application, I need to define all that. Here. I go through the driver by IOM, that VLN, that is the library to directly communicate with the printer. That's the reason that I don't remember we are talking about that. Sometimes a customer is complaining that the application doesn't work with a new driver and new firmware. Because new driver with new firmware is applying on the new IOM.dll, but he are building his application on an old version of IOM. So the old version of IOMM cannot discuss with the new firmware. The best is to upgrade the IOMM.dll to be alive. That is the SDK 2.x. We have a direct communication to the printer. The problem with that is that the developer need to know the program language of the printer. It means need to know the escape command, need to know the sequence to print. So for the 10% of the full application, it will be a little bit long because it's not easy for the integrator to integrate a new language. He knows very well Java, but he doesn't know how our printer prints. So he needs to have all. That's the reason that the SDK needs to include it some tools to help the development, need to include it some samples to go fast. But anyway, he needs to know all the structure. Okay. Now, the difference with the premium SDK is we still have a printer. Okay. We still have a computer which manage the information with the printer and we still have an application. The applications can be installed of course on a computer or whatever. Okay, we'll see. The difference here that we not dialogue here the dialogue is directly to the printer. Here, we will not dialogue to the printer. We will send some requests to the ESPF, we will see, the, a dedicated service including on the driver, and this one makes the dialogue. It makes the translations. Here, we will have a human language, and here we have the system language. System language yeah. Here, it's a request. And I will show you, you are not a developer, but I will show you some parts of development and you will understand what it means. We'll see that here we send human requests, like for example, print settings, print print. You understand what I mean? Print setting. Print settings is to set the print job. Print yeah, print yeah, is to yeah. print. Okay, when I remember, say at the beginning of the training, if you make a SIE, you will not understand what it means, but insertion ejection. Okay. If I make a S S S uh, S W T and S E, you will print. But because I know the language. Now if I make S settings, uh, print settings and print print, and print settings is write the information training for example, and print print it will print training. But here is human language. Okay? That is what, what you do. And the advantage to that is 
the application here don't need to have a driver because we just send a request to the driver at least. So SDK 2.x is a direct communication to the printer with its dedicated language, escape command. The premium SDK, we are based on the driver. So we just send requests to the driver. And the driver makes the translation. This is one of the advantages. The second advantage is here the application don't need the driver. So it means that we are multiple platform compatible. And the third advantage that here to be print, to be able to print, we need to know the status. The status here, okay, it's the machine that gives the status, it's a binary information. It's a code, a very long code, I will show you. And the system needs to translate this code to see if the system is ready or if there is no card or whatever. The advantage of the premium SDK okay, is this status is already done by the system. Remember on the print center, we can see that the cover is open or there is no card because the system sends a binary information and translate as cover open. By the fact that my application dialog by request, instead of catching this information, you can catch directly this information. So it get directly the information without a dedicated treatment. So for status, it will go very fast as well. Okay? So, because Premium SDK is based on Everest Premium Suite, of course you need to install the Everest Premium Suite on your environment. Only one is enough. Even if the printer is on the network, okay, we don't care. I mean, what is important is that this printer dialogue with this computer. And this computer should be available for the application. Here, we have a dedicated communication mode. And here we have a dedicated communication, it can be USB or IP. What is important is that the application will never dialogue directly with the, with the printer. So it will include the IP of the computer which manages the printer, but not the printer directly. Okay? And to get the benefits of the status is to install on supervision or standard mode. Because on the supervision mode, we have the status, and on the, on the standard mode, we have the requisite the purpose that you can yes. take benefits of. That is the same schema as I have done it. The application will be developed here. Okay? We don't need a driver because we just send requests to one of my system manage my printers. This system, I have installed the Everest Premium Suite, so I have a dedicated service called ESPF. The request is catched by this service, is translated to the language machine. Of course, means that in the environment, I mean, I need to have a Microsoft operating system somewhere which manage my printer. If it's my laptop, for example, okay, if I shut down my laptop, I will not be able to print at all. Okay. But one of the advantages that here I don't need driver because I have no need to dialogue directly with the printer. I need to dialogue with my computer. And to dialogue to my computer, I don't need a driver. I just need to establish a communication mode like a TCP IP. So means that from my phone, I can develop an application where I can send the request to my computer and my computer manage the dialogue with the printer. So 
even if I have an iOS application, I have no driver for iOS, but I don't care. Clear? Question? So this is the difference between SDK and premium SDK. So now, if you have a customer who have already developed application on SDK, you can why not move the application to premium SDK? Or you can continue to use the SDK, even if you bought a new printer. Now, if it's a new customer with a new printer, it's better to give it to him the premium SDK because it will go very fast because you don't need to understand escape command. You just need to understand how you will it integrate the request. And the advantage of the request, first, it's a human interface. Second, I would say it on, it's a JSON. JSON is a language. JSON is based on Java. It's an integrated module in Java. So the advantage of the JSON that when you send a request and when you develop in Java, the answers can be directly integrated. There is uh, no treatment to extract the real information. So the developer can go very fast to make the file print. In this case, he really respects the 10%. So if you have three months to develop the applications, in two weeks maximum, he will have performed the file print. The SPF is composed by different modules. So we have requesting for print, we have requests for settings, we have requests for supervision, we have requests for command, add-on and echo. You understand everything? If I send a command a request for print, it's to print. If I send a command a request to set, it's to set. If I send a command a request as supervision is to get the status. Okay, command is to send only a command. Add-on is to call another additional program. Yes, you have to remember that if I have some encoding system, encoding system is not our SDK. So you need to integrate it the SDK. So perhaps another programmer have developed the program just to perform that. So you can see in this case, you will call this program. And echo is just to see if my system is available. A request is based on that. That is JSON. JSON is a specific language, so we have a specific structure. I will not go on structure. The goal is not here. Just to show you that you are able to read. Supervision list. So you make a supervision of your every primacy. The answer will be, the primacy is ready. You are able to read that. If I translate that here, yeah, means I will send a specific command, and the answer will be 0, 0, 0, AC, C, OK? Something that you may not understand. Here, yeah? you directly understand. For that, when you download SDK or premium SDK, but I'm now much more based on premium SDK, but SDK will be the same, okay? You have always a structure based like this. Means you have every folders are documented. So this folder is documented, you have the readme, and the readme explain you what is that, what is that, and what is the documentation. Here you have two documentation which are change log because we put revision. So we have the revision 1.5.set, 1.5.7. So it explains what is new on this revision. And here it explains what is new on this revision. Here you have the Everest command guide. So you have here inside this folder all the list of all commands that a uh, system may receive. So if for you, you would like to have the full list because you would like to see how you can react a motor or whatever. You can download the SDK and you will have the full list. SDK or payment SDK, never mind, it will be the same list. Okay, I will show you. And the premium SDK, after you have 
But what we have seen is really the toolbox. Documentation, tutorial, demo program, and sample. On the demo program, on the, the sample, we have a dedicated tool where the source code are available for the developer. Uh, some example and minimal client source. Samples is to describe which kind of request you have to send to perform a print job, for example. And here will be a minimal communication mode. So if, I don't know, the programmer is a Python programmer, how I can, with a Python program, communicate with the ESPF and send a request to him. We will see that in details, okay? And the manual clearances as well. And we have a demo program. The demo program is to work, okay? Uh, and to help the developer. So the demo program is to establish the communication. So you can see how you can establish the communication. It can generate a request. So the demo program can generate directly the request for the developer, okay? It can test, of course, the request and it can test different services like setting, print, and state. So the developer is able to check that and to put, because we have the source code with that, so you can debug and to see when is performed action, what we are de developing to do this action. So you can easily integrate that in its own application. That is important. In case of you are front of a customer, an integrator that they have some issue, first, it's important to, to see with him if he have read all the documentation that we have published. Okay, means all the documentation that we have on the SDK, on the package, but the, the documentation perhaps that we have published as well on the every partner website. So that is your job. So if you have an integrator, sometimes you need to send him some documentation that he have not accessible because it's on the partner website, okay? After that, if it doesn't help, you need to provide us information, like what is the real issue, which kind of SDK used, okay? Of course, the system details of the printer, and you will see that we have a documentation on the partner website to help to extract some logs for us. So this documentation you can share with the integrator and it will provide everything. And with everything we can able to see and why not to explain or to correct the code that you have created. Thank you. It's not finished. Because I see all people. No. Now, I will show you now the real structure. Okay? But that is the main information. It's clear? You know better what is the SDK? Now you are able to describe the SDK. You are able to give to some people some information. Now, I really show you some things. And uh, I was thinking that I didn't show you something yeah, else, but I will see if minutes. we have time or not. Uh, SDK. First, okay, SDK 2.5. If you look at the SDK 2.5, you have documentations. Okay, you have the programming guide that is a list of commands for the old generation. And you have the Everis command guide for the new generation. So for example, for Xenius Primacy, the commands look like this. So you, here, you have all the commands. So if I'm looking, for example, for the SA, you know now the SA, you have all the information. But if I'm looking for some commands that we have not seen, when that exists, for example, uh, okay, MC, for example, mm -hmm. is to run the stepper motor, and so on. 
So here you have all the list of the commands available for each printer. Okay? So for your job, it can be interesting. Now, on the SDK, you have after the real SDK, where you have documentation, documentation, tutorial, okay, and, docu and program to communicate or information, okay? Now, on the premium SDK, we have the same documentations, every command guide with all the escape command of, for each printer. And the premium SDK, where we have as well documentation, so you see lots of documentations, okay? Samples and demo program. If you look at the first step, that is the best to start by this one, it explains step by step what are first the difference between the two SDK and what the programmer has to perform step by step if he would like to start to program, okay, with a study case. So he would like to print this kind of cards, for example, so how, which kind of things he have to do, request by request, okay. Now, if we look at the samples here, okay, we have the minimum client source and the samples. Samples are, we use a basic program, that is the batch file. Batch is a kind of program, it's just a sequences of command, okay? So we have created a dedicated tool, a dedicated tool to have the possibility to run batch file. So here, for example, I have batch file to create a black printing process or color printing process. If we look, okay, the black printing process, for example, okay, you need to send seven requests to be able to print. Okay, so for example, one request will be print begin on every primacy request four. I will not spend all the time, but just some image. It's print set bitmap. So you will define in the bitmap that you will want like to print. On request six. Okay. I have a print print. And on seven, it's a print n. You understand what I mean? Okay. It's easy to understand. Okay. So this is the, sam the samples that we provide. And that are based to the reference guide because we are based on JSON and on the ESPF. The ESPF, as I said, are different services. One is called CMD. CMD is just to send a command to the printer. Of course, we cannot send directly the command. We need to go through the driver. But remember, from the driver, we send some command because you have already done. Here is the same way. So here, for example, I can send a command that is RFV to read the firmware version. You have this command, get status. You see, you receive that. Ooh. That is the status of the printer. Means that People who use the SDK, the normal SDK, the first one, when you directly with the printer, okay, when you when you send get status, you receive this information. With this information, you should describe this information as what's happened on the printer. For that, is this sequence is a word, okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sentence, and you need to cut it as well. So you have config information warning. So it means that your string need to be divided. And as soon as it's divided, after you can check. So for example, if you would like to have the warning, you need to check this information. This is uh, SDK. 2. Point. It's SDK 2. Point. Okay. 
yeah. are two points. Awesome. So, it's for example, SDK. if you would like to see the warning, so it means that if the sequence is this one, it means that you have a card on eject. If you would like to see, for example, if the cover is open, you need to check if your sequence is equal to that. It's not easy. Okay? Now I will show you the, what we do with the premium SDK. With the premium SDK, we have supervision. So instead of make a get status, we say supervision list on primacy. And it will answer ready. And with different level. And I will show you the level. If I send you, if I send a level one, okay, a level zero, it just give me which kind of printer I have. Yeah, I have two printers. If I send a level two, a level one, sorry, it will say ready or warning. So one is ready, one is warning, but warning, you don't know what's happened. And if you send the level zero, uh, level two, sorry, in this case, you have warning feeder empty. It means that because we are dialing with the driver, the driver has already extracted the binary information. So here it's readable. You see the difference? Once it's a code, and the developer needs to match the code with the different errors that exist. Here, it just need to cast the information, and at least it can just display that to the interface. So if the system, if the end users of the application make a file print, okay, you can check that, and it said if there is a warning, display the information, and the customer then users we say okay. The feeder is empty, I need to fill some cards. You see the difference about development? Okay, it's gonna go very fast. Now, if I go back to this, we are talking about CMD, CMD is to send a command, okay? No problem. The other is print. So to print, there is a process. Print begin, print set, print set bitmap, Print, 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 end. I don't need to explain because you will not develop, but you have understanding the process. If I would like to print, I need to make, to prepare the system to be print, to send the settings, to send the image, to print, and after to say, okay, now it's finished. Okay? You have, so I will go down, because it's all described after, so you see the documentation is very huge, okay? After you have what we call the settings, because we can set, remember on the driver, I can define multiple information, by test, contrast, using monochrome, so on. Here is the same. I can as well import or export. So I can make some presets, that I can import and export, okay? So this is all the settings. So here, for example, the settings are readable. Here, you can see that I have export the settings. It export the fact that I have defined all black points, the value of the brightness and contrast, the value of the monochrome, the value of the varnish, the rotations, Everything is readable. It's not binary information. Okay. After I have the supervision, we have already seen the supervision. Okay. If I send a supervision list, I have the direct information of the program. Okay. And I go more. Uh, I have the get status, but I have the get event. You remember? On the driver, we have some pop-up that appears to be able to possibility to retry or cancel the job. I have the same here by request. So when I have an error, I can make a get event, and the system say I have a mechanical error, and I can answer to the system cancel or retry. In this case, it will cancel the job or retry. 
So it's very easy to integrate it all the management of the cards. Okay. And we have the echo just to see is the ESPF, so my system is online. And add-on is to call an extended program. Okay? okay. So with this documentation, with the samples that we provide, because here we provide lots of samples regarding black printing, color printing, get version, magnetic, uh, activation, single escape command, smart, and so on, is able to develop the program. Now, you are not developer. I'm not really developer. I was. I know lots of command and lots of program. Um, Java is complicated to read, but uh, C sharp is easy. Oh, it's easy, more or less. This is a, a C sharp program. Okay, I will not describe the C sharp program. There is a structure linked to the program. Okay, with instruction. Now, what is interesting? You are not C-sharp developer, but you are able to see what is doing. Because that is linked to the C-sharp structure, to the program. But what we are testing is to see what the program is doing. So we are looking for JSON request. Oh, JSON is called a CMD send command, and it asks for RIV on the primacy. So if I run this program, and if I have somewhere at this IP address with this port name a primacy attached, uh, this IP address is not the primacy IP address, huh? it's a computer, computer address. address. Okay. If I have a computer answering to this IP address, and I have a primacy installed on, it will enter in the firmware version. So if I know that, and I show before you, before that there is all the sample, so all the requests to print. If I make a copy past of this structure linked to the different requests to print, I'm able to create a C sharp program to print a program, to print a card. Ah, it's very reduced, okay? But it work like this. For a developer, that is easy. This is easy. That can be very complicated if we are talking about SDK. SDK 2 dot something, 2 dot 5. But premium SDK is easy because it can read this information. So you see, for the printing process, it's printing bidding, printing settings, printing uh, set bitmap, print, and print end. So if he knows that he has to build the structure like this, he will do it because he knows how to build the structure. What he needs to know is just to integrate it the JSON. So you are not a developer, but you are able to read. And once of the documentation that we have published on the partner website is to help us to diagnose because we are not really developer, okay? Uh, we don't know all the languages. Uh, Java is, called, is one of the famous uh, development program, but it's a very complicated language to read because it's it's making lots of link with different objects. Okay, uh, so for us it's very difficult. Now on the documentation that we have published on the partner website, you can define the ESPF service as debug. And when you debug it, what is doing that each when you run the, when the developer runs the program, okay, the ESPF of course listen to and do it, but it puts on a specific 